November 14th, 2000. The Women's Basketball Hall of Fame welcomed the arrival of George Lemon, son of Harlem Globetrotters legend Meadowlark, and the owner of Knoxville's newest professional sports team, the Indoor Professional Football League's Tennessee Thundercats. The franchise previously played in Topeka, Kansas as the Kings, but Lemon moved the team to Knoxville because he felt that, quote, Knoxville was the number one football market in the country. 12, 14, 2000. There it is. Expectations were high for the new team, and a month later, the Thundercats had their first big signing, former UT Vol quarterback Sterling Henton. All right. There it is. <laughs> Early the next year, the T-Cats, as they came to be known, held their first public tryouts. Hundreds of potential players came out to get a taste of the gridiron. It's a little awe-inspiring because it makes you it makes you wonder: Do I still have it, and am I going to be embarrassed? Just ready to go. I'm ready to try out. I'm ready to be here. I think I can make it. A lot of talent out here. Coaches got their work cut out for them. A couple of guys are here to use this as a stepping stone. Some of the younger guys that have some flourishing talent and haven't reached their peak yet can use this to go another go into another league. I want to see if I can go any farther. I want to see if I can do the arena and maybe go a little bit farther. Only a lucky few out of those hundreds would make up the Thundercats squad of 30 and would only be paid $200 to $300 for each of the season's 16 games. The T-Cats inaugural season kicked off on April 13, 2001 at the Knoxville Civic Coliseum against the Trenton Lightning. Just hours before the first snap, quarterback Sterling Henton turned himself into authorities after learning he was wanted for allegedly failing to pay child support. This left the offense in the hands of stand-in Derek Brown. The more than 2,500 fans on hand witnessed Brown lead the T-Cats to a 52-25 victory. The Thundercat season rolled on, and by August, they were 11-4 and found themselves in the IPFL championship game against the 15-1 Omaha Beef. The Beef proved worthy adversaries during the regular season, besting the T-Cats on three occasions, but Tennessee handed their bovine brethren their only loss of the season the month prior. He was a good kicker. The Thundercats came back from an 11-point halftime deficit to beat the Beef and bring home the IPFL championship in their very first season. As George Lemon celebrated with his team, it seemed like the Thundercats dynasty had just begun in Knoxville. Their second season, however, seemed like it was plagued from the offset. During the offseason, the IPFL folded and the Thundercats joined the 25-team National Indoor Football League. Attendance dwindled from around 4,000 to only around 1,000. On top of that, financial issues within the organization led to a revolt by players against George Lemon over not being paid. The fallout led to Lemon's exit from the team. Off the field drama aside, the team was solid on the field and made it all the way to the conference championship game before being ousted by the Ohio Valley Greyhounds. The T-Cats finished their second season 11-5 and in October 2002, it was announced that the Thundercats organization would be dissolved to make way for a new NIFL team named the Tennessee Riverhawks. Things for the Riverhawks started off promising enough with the hiring of former UT Vol quarterback Heath Schuler as head coach, but by the third game, Schuler either quit or was fired, depending on who you ask, and the Riverhawks were up the creek without a paddle by the end of the season, relocating to Greenville, South Carolina. <laughs> It would be nearly a decade before Knoxville saw another indoor football team. 
In 2011, the Knoxville Nighthawks began their two-year stay in the city and ended their time here, finishing dead last in both seasons with a combined record of a dismal three wins and 21 losses.